Welcome everyone, I'm Tim and this is the controller. Today I will show you what I do when I want to make a lot of caps fast so I can go and buy a top-notch gun early in the game like the Overseer's Guardian in Vault 81 or Old Faithful in Diamond City. This tactic will also work for any armor or weapons in other locations that aren't too crazy expensive. Now I do play on survival mode, but this will also work for any play difficulty. And with that, let's jump into it. Now what I'm about to show you won't make you a financial tycoon in the game, but it will keep you from living paycheck to paycheck. Most people know to grab the wedding ring from your non-moving dead spouse. I'll find who did this, and I'll get shot back. I promise. To the gold bars that are in the cellar of the house in Sanctuary. And of course the regular old cap stash that is just to the east of Sanctuary. That is locked away by the vacuum seal pump. These valuable items are certainly necessary to get the most bang for your buck as they all have great weight to value ratio or they are already the financial currency of the Commonwealth in caps. But that isn't going to be enough to buy you the gear that you want or need to be the overpowered soul survivor that you are. I like to do a quick looting of Sanctuary before leaving and never coming back. And let's be honest, looting all of Sanctuary and scrapping everything there can get extremely tedious the more times you play the game. And if you just check the containers and safes for any valuable items, such as flip lighters or other weight to value items of like 1 to 20, you're going to be just fine in having enough caps. Now you can build some water purifiers so that you can have a little bit of sustained income. But if you are like me, you don't want to be visiting Sanctuary very often at all, to where it really has its diminishing returns. Even using regular water pumps, you can get purified water into your workshop by using them. You can build as many as you want. But only one is really needed, so any bottles that are found in Vault 101 or Sanctuary can be filled which will be enough purified water for what we want to do, and it will actually be right around 20 total. If you are going to scrap items, stick with the rubber or the lamp posts, as the rubber, when it's broken down, only weighs 0.1, and it does have a value of 2. And lamps will give you one fuse each out of them, which they too only weigh 0.1, and they have a little bit higher value. It's somewhere around 4 or 14, somewhere in that range. And wood and steel also work, but they each have a value of 2 for a weight of 0.2. So that will fill up your inventory a lot quicker than you would like. And if you did want to top up your inventory before leaving Sanctuary, you can also get more rubber from Red Rocket very, very easily. And when leaving Sanctuary, if the Overseer's Guardian is the gun of choice for the sole survivor that you are, I find hitting up the robotics disposal ground is the easiest way to get the three fusion cores needed to enter Vault 81 to buy it. You get one from the chest and two from the sentry bot. That makes for an easy three. And if choosing not to go to Vault 81, they are still very valuable regardless of what you decide to do. Personally, I will hit up Wicked Shipping, which is to the south of Sanctuary and Abernathy Farms because it has three nice. very important things. It has another issue of Grognak the Barbarian, which makes two after grabbing the first one in Sanctuary, and they have no weight and a value of 100. Second is the Wicked Shipping Trailer Key, 
and there are two very easy trailers to unlock. One is at Wicked Shipping, and the other is just down the road from Drumlin Diner. Both will have some quality ammunition and explosives, along with other miscellaneous items that may be good to grab. But most importantly is the bag of pre-war money on the roof of the building furthest to the west. There are usually 30 to 60 bundles of money, which can mean some serious caps. After hitting up Wicked Shipping, just a couple of quick stops to hit before going to get your premier weapon. Since we are going past Drumlin Diner to get the other shipping container, huh? we may as well <clears throat> stop and so be sarcastic to Carla. Just looking for love, sweetheart. <laughs> Boy, have you come to the wrong place. My loving days have long since passed. But I'll tell you what, wise ass. You made an old girl smile, and that ain't easy. You want to do some trading? I'll give you a discount. This allows you to get a discount at her shop, and you can sell off some of that extra baggage that you happen to be carrying around and clear her out of her caps. Drumlin Diner is an easy way to make an extra 100 caps by taking care of Trudy or Wolfgang, provided that you remember to wear your armor. Go get him. Next up would be Grey Garden if it is desired. You can pick their mute fruit, and if you talk to Supervisor Brown and play along with the game show host theme, you can get another free 100 caps. At this point, you should have a solid bankroll started and be carrying a lot of high value items just from picking stuff up during the normal travels and from these tips provided here. And if needed, Diamond City does have a good crop of mute fruit and tatoes that can be harvested for just a bit more dough. This should be more than enough to make a deal with Arturo for Old Faithful. And even enough for the Overseer's Guardian, which does cost a little bit more than Old Faithful. It is possible to buy both guns, but during my test, I ran a Strength of 1 and also a Charisma of 1. So I wasn't able to carry nearly as much as I normally would, and the one Charisma certainly ate into my bartering power. So with either either one of those being a higher ranking, it will definitely be much easier to gain caps. Hopefully this has proven helpful, informational, or maybe just it gives a little bit different perspective from how you normally go about playing Fallout 4. If you did enjoy the video, please hit that like and subscribe button as it would be greatly appreciated. But with that, thanks for watching and thanks for joining. And until next time, powering off.